If you read all 900 plus pages of Project 2025, you might find that there's no direct mention about how it will impact the black community. So it probably won't, and it's probably not racist, right? Wrong. Oh. Let's get smarter in seconds about what Project 2025 means for the black community with the Legal Defense Fund. Project 2025 is a comprehensive policy platform from the far right group, the Heritage Foundation, that they have offered up as a blueprint for governing. It includes countless initiatives that would disproportionately impact and harm the black community. In the same country that has the highest maternal mortality rate of any developed nation, and black people are 2.6 times more likely to die in childbirth, Project 2025 would essentially ban abortion, which has already resulted in tragic outcomes. Black communities are disproportionately impacted by pollution, and Project 2025 would make environmental racism worse. Project 2025 would end federal oversight of police departments and expand the use of the death penalty. And amid a housing crisis, Project 2025 would cut funding for public housing and assistance programs like Section 8. Black students are already more likely to attend a school staffed by police instead of social workers, school psychologists, counselors, and nurses. Project 2025's anti-civil rights agenda would terminate the Department of Education and the ability to investigate and improve these racist outcomes. Project 2025 includes plans that would suppress black political power and undermine our multiracial democracy. So we need to vote while we still can. Check or update your voter registration by going here. And read the Legal Defense Fund's report on how Project 2025 will negatively impact the black community. Thank you to the NAACP Legal Defense Fund for helping us all get smarter in seconds. Smarter in seconds.